Hey everyone, this is Ferro and in this video you'll see the fight to get the trophy called Just Like That in Bastion where you need to complete the kid's dream enter through the pipe with all the 10 idols invoked. Before checking the fight itself, let's see what I used to unlock this trophy. Please remember that everything shown here in the video is just an opinion of a strategy, so if you want or if you need to change something, adapt it as it suits you better. In the distillery, you can now check all the spirits that I used. There are two actually that I don't recommend that you use, those are the Black Rye and the Whale Ale, as you'll not receive more black tonics during the waves, so these two are kinda useless after one or two waves. For the weapons, I recommend the Galleon Mortar and the Brusher Spike, both with all the five upgrades unlocked, focusing specially on damage. The Mortar will be the main weapon to be used, so don't forget to activate the upgrade where you are immune to its damage. The Pike is strong and is also good to kill enemies while maintaining the distance. When you are happy with your choices, don't forget to go to the shrine, activate all the 10 idols and then you can go to the pipe where you enter the kid's stream. But I wouldn't recommend it. Alright, no more asking about that smoking pipe. Deal. My strategy here was to choose a corner, to stay there and to move around as less as possible. I used the mortar to kill enemies far away and don't forget that the shield can be your best friend so use and abuse of it. When cornered always take your time to see the best time to attack the enemy and keep defending yourself. This dream is the easiest one so you shouldn't struggle that much. Good luck. Hardly had a moment's rest since all this started. Fair to say he's led a hard life. Supposing what he says in his sleep ain't no lie. Having his mama's hair did the kid no favors while he was growing up, but he learned to hold his own out there. School ain't working out, so the kid signs up for a turn on the rippling walls. Make his mama some money. Thanks to folks like the kid, the walls kept Ceylandia safe from whatever's out there. The elements, the aura, you name it. Once the kid done his time, he hurried on home. Turns out his mama's time was done too.
The city had nothing for him. The money he'd been sending home was nowhere to be found, either. So what did the kid do? Why he went right on back to the walls for another five years? In the history of Ceylandia, nobody has ever volunteered for a second shift on the walls. There, kid learned to fend for himself, learned to build, learned to break. In time, the kid earned good standing with the marshals. They trusted him to scout out farther than anybody. One night, on one of his expeditions, the ground beneath him shuddered, cracked, and split apart. He saw nothing where the world used to be. The calamity happened just like that. All the kid had to work with was his hammer and the clothes on his back. Through twisted streets, he ran with nothing but the city crest and an old stranger's voice to guide him. Will have finally arrived at Ceylandia's vaunted safe haven, he and no one else. But then, all he got was more thankless work 
from a man who ain't even asked his name. Sure, I may be the one who dreamt up the walls and the bastion, but the kid made him real, not me. I'd like to say I'll never forget him, or what he's doing, what he's done. I surely would. I hope this video helped you to get this trophy, if yes leave a like, comment, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and you can also check me on Twitch, the link is in the description. And as always, see ya!